All right, welcome everybody to Ken's Tech Lab on the gaming side. And uh, we're going to do, the, I believe this is going to be part three of Pacific Drive. And if you follow me on the other two parts, um, we actually started the game. And on part two, uh, we were able to finish the uh, first um, out in the peninsula. So let's start part three. And let's get back into the game. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to all your friends that Ken's Tech Lab is now into gaming. All right, this next part is going to start out because we I believe I left the car sitting there um, with all the problems with it. Uh, whatever was broken on it i think i just left we left the game just sitting there so we're gonna start back out and see what we need to do uh to fix the car so let's get into it all right here we are back in the game there's our trusty car and uh Let's see if there's anything wrong with it. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Um, we just have the flimsy stuff on there. I don't know if we even emptied it. Let's see this. And don't forget, this is the PS5 edition. So I am playing this on a, on a PlayStation 5. Um, I'm also playing this on a 110 inch um, digital uh, screen with a low, uh, what they call that short throw projector, uh, which is using um, uh, like a fiber to get it over to the uh, to the screen. So it's a pretty cool setup. Okay, let's go in here. And yes, it looks like we emptied everything. Uh, we have some food and some um, stuff. Uh, we even still have the can on us. Uh, to fix some sections of the car. Uh, car energy. Let's put the energy back into it. And let's fill it up with fuel. Do, as you see there on the top left we're missing one headlight and in some parts of this game it is really really dark Let's see how our car looks this one's okay our front bumper is not the greatest in the world so let's just load that up real quick and there we go we have some repair putty Panel looks good. Well, we're out of repair putting now. So let's go in there and get the handbrake like it wants us to. So it looks like it's in this place right here. There it is. And let's put this in the car. goes under the hood, so let's open the hood. And Make there we sure go. to empty your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. We'll need the space. Let's see with the uh with the friendly <laughs> dumpster kill us. In it. And this. we're patched. Everything's in working shape, more or less. I've hooked up 
the antenna to the route planner. Give it a look after you're done peeping through my garage. Okay, we'll throw that right there. Let's see if there's anything else this dumpster can give us right now. A little bit more with some scrap metal, some duct tape, and what do we have over here? We have some steel panels. So let's go ahead and take this thing apart. And the one nice thing about this game is that these car here and these electronics are always here every time you leave the area and come back. And the game kind of feels sorry for you because it knows how, how hard it's going to be and what kind of shape you're going to be in when you get back. Okay, I think that's everything. Here. There we go. We have a little bit of a grinder left. That's about it. Um, we have 2.9 of stable energy. And we don't have a gear. We need two more gears for that. So let's go over to the table and make two. Okay. okay, this is a deconstructor kit. And looks like it's going to go right here. Structure kit. So let's see what we can do. So this little this uh, grinder here or scrapper doesn't have much life left. So maybe we'll get some of the stuff out of it. And then we'll go over to the table. And we'll make a brand new scrapper. Scrapper. And there we go. We do have a little bit of the uh, impact hammer left, and I don't think I brought back enough to make another one. I did. No, I didn't. Here, I need two more gears. Well, let's see if we can make. Oops, I was right, already right there. Let's make two more gears. One, two, okay. Let's see if we can make it now. It looks like we can. Excellent. Yep, one half used and one brand new. So what we're going to do is 
in the actual car itself. We're going to put that right there so it's waiting to be used. Okay. Make sure that we have steel all around us. What can we do about that light? Crude headlight. On me? Yes. All right. Let's put that in our hand. Crude headlight, good headlight. Okay, that should be blue now. We only have a few little pieces here that are a little damaged, not too, too bad. Let's see if I can make some repair putty. in our hand. What is it? The back. There we go. I wonder if we can make a crude bumper, actually, if I want to do. What I want to do is put this putty in there, and let's see if we can make a crude bumper for the rear. We can! Excellent! Little bit more protection. All right, the car is looking good. It's very brittle because it's only using uh, duct tape and a little bit of metal, but it'll get us ready to make this remnant verification a one and done thing. I'm sending you to visit Colossal Cappy. If that old anomaly doesn't induce electromagnetic resonance in your car, then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams and we can get you out of here. With that antenna fixed, you can now detect stabilized road junctions in the outer zone. You've got a stable route heading straight to Cappy's front door, but the energy readings are off the roof. I advise you not to take the zone lightly. You better gear up or you may not survive the trip. Which would make my life easier, so... Your call. Well... That's not nice. They want us to go here. And I don't think this is going to be as fun as last time. <laughs> now we have... Whoops. We have to add the handbrake in. And there we go. We can use it now by using the square. Wonderful. Alright, let's drive the car, put it in gear. Our lights should work. Look at that. Two headlights. Let's head out to this place. And hopefully it stays daylight, because at night it is so hard to see. Alright, who needs roads? Here we go. Oh, 
right. At this point, if we actually look at the map, just right there, you can see we have an exit right here. We're coming in right here. But if we wanted to grab some stable energy, we can grab these two here. Let's do anchor points. Uh, before we go up there. So let's try that. Maybe we'll get there before anything bad happens. What do you think? I well. Probably not. we get, the more we can make. We'll take a little bit of stuff that it has. And we'll take all of this. Now one good thing is is the thing that holds these these little ramps up that can jump, which will do damage to your car, is they have these really big tires on them. Which gives us a little bit more rubber and parts. I don't think I want to spend too much time in this area due to the fact that it's probably whoops here. It's probably going to collapse on us. So let's get back on the road. I believe we have mostly spare tire uh oh. Did you hear that little Blop, blop, blop. There's something wrong with the, the front tire on the right hand side. So let's take a look at that. And you can scan it. Need the ceiling kit. I don't know if I have everything here for a ceiling kit yet. Not that. No, I have nothing. We're just going to go on that tire. Flat tire. Okay, people.
So if you start these and then throw them it will blow them up. A lot of times they only give you plastic. Or nothing at all. Get out of here with our old flat tire. Can't turn very well with a flat tire. I need stuff. Let's do one other thing though. We only have so much energy. Let's turn this off. Alright. Taking the car apart is great, but what's in these boxes is sometimes better. Summer tire would give us a little bit more. Yeah. I still don't know where that is. These are anomalies, and you need to scan them to get some of the other stuff. Sizzling mist. Let's see where we are. Over there, we're getting up to the uh, little town. enough away from it so we don't get hit. But we want the stuff. In I didn't need it. 
cool one. All right. You don't want to get hit by that electricity. Away from it. And then go get your stuff. everything. Uh, little glowing thing over there. Must be from those people that exploded. This is where the, all that we heard all the explosions when we got out. Trying to keep our our pack clear because we don't know when we're gonna have to jump out real quick and grab a bunch of stuff. And let's see if I can fix that tire yet. Yes, I can. Move faster now. Yeah. Only if I put it into drive. No time to stop now. It's not moving too fast. Take a look. And we are in danger here. So let's get out of here. Let's get back into the safety of the car. So 
so we need... we've already passed it? So yeah, we need to go... here. Oops, wrong way. Alright, stop sign, street. This is still moving. It's not too bad. All right, we're gonna head into the second area. I really wanted to grab those two uh, anchors before I went there. So there's the green, and that means you're getting to the areas that you can get out of. And now we're gonna go from here. which is going to require two anchors to leave. Yeah, this section it actually saved the game, not because it does between sectors, but because this is a terrifying place right here. God, Sierra. Never wanted to think about this place ever again. Edor Town, Colossal Cappy is smack dab in the middle of where Sierra used to be. You can't miss it. Look at that. Welcome to Serum. Uh, is there a reason you're driving straight towards the largest honking anomaly in the zone? You wanted to know if there's a speck of remnant energy in that car? This is how you do it. You're using Cappy to amplify the remnant signal. That's insane. sure about this? Well, they'll be fine. It's not fine! Look at those radiation spikes that Colossal Cap is still giving off after all these years. To achieve any sort of resonance, the driver's going to have to get right up against Cappy. I get you, Francis, but Oppie's got a point. Any remnant energy lingering in the car is too weak to detect with conventional methods. Really? You're gonna take her side? This isn't about sides. It's a good plan. I won't risk someone's life just so we can log another remnant sighting. The driver can make their own decision. I'm not forcing them to do anything. For all I care, they can lay down and wait until the instability takes. <laughs> These crystals right here are very important.
that's why I made another one in the car. Let's go to the car, and I forgot to shut off the headlights. I didn't make another one of those, that's right. I only made one. There's plenty of scrap we have for making one now. Where was I on this car? There's where it was, I was scrapping this out. Alright. Possibly can get a wheel. Rubber. This is a spare. Not much there. Alright. Let's see what we have over here. food on me? Yeah, I got seven. Let's get a little bit of health back. It only gives you three health, I believe, per little can of food. And then they have the bigger cans of food. And then, of course, they have health per packs. There we go. We're up to 100%. Our fuel is down a quarter. Good. One of those things blew up all the way out to here. So let's go grab that real quick. Maybe it's one of those crystals. It is. Did I really throw that thing out of the car? No! This just got thrown to me. That's an anchor. That's weird, sometimes you just stand out here in the middle of the road and things just kind of fall from the, the sky. Alright, put that over there. Just like most survival games, you have to go out and uh, get resources. The only thing different with this is the resources are cars. And other things, electronics and stuff you find around the world. Um, other survival games that I play, it actually requires you to get trees and leaves and ammo and stuff like that. Much 
sure I don't think there's anything in the trunks gone. Okay, what's this? and make sure there's nothing going to get us. And then let's go back and see what they have in them. Nothing. That one. Food and one little thing in that one. We want all the plasma. All right, let's see what's back here. Unless well, we get something in that box. Whoops, I don't want that. don't want to actually do that part until we capture these anchors. There's three anchors. So, we have a flat tire again. Here's the city. Looks pretty bad. Here is some fuel. Oh, 
Oh, look, we have some boxes and another friendly dumpster. Yeah, see that plate over there? Oh, nice. Come on. Thank you. All right, we have a blowtorch. Also, Fill up our spare can right here. Anything inside the place? up in here. Oh, not much in here. We do need to go find out. Uh, oh, the dumpster? Remember, we have to scan everything. Can opener. Good name for it. So it looks like we have a little shed over here. Alright, we have a pearl, a dumpster pearl. Uh, what you do is you throw them in the, that um, thing that we made to crush everything and tear it up and it'll give you a lot of resources. Nice. I believe we already have one big can of food still. Oh, let's just make that two. I'll leave the six smaller cans over here. Oh, 
electrician's kit that will allow us to um pick up the wrong. Wow. He's done. I do not have room for the electrician's kit, so we can keep it on us. We need to go there where the big red light is over there, but we are right here. We can do those two. We'll need to go there, but before we go there... Oops. Let's go here. forget to do there's no fix for that that tire is gone We need better tires right away. Let's uh, put this down right there. Off. Right there. And there we go. Now we don't want to waste the rubber of the other one. Another dumpster out here now? It is. Wow. What's this? Oh, that's a headlight? That's a real headlight. Wow. Look at that, we have a real headlight now. Nine volt batteries. That's a lot of roll of tape.
It's done. Is longer than I thought it was going to. Um, I don't have room for that. I'm almost full. So, we're right at 56 minutes onto this video, and uh, well, I think we're going to leave it here and we'll continue from this spot and uh, make it over, get a couple of the, um, the anchors. Uh, so we can have the stuff for us to be able to make new things, and then we'll jump and try to find out what we're going to do in that area over there. So, thanks for joining us on Ken's Tech Lab. This is Pacific Drive. It's a great game. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And like always, stay awesome.